So, with Assassin's Creed Mirage coming out in October this year, there's a mixed reception surrounding the recently showcased gameplay trailer. Ubisoft certainly has a lot of work ahead of them to create a game that's truly captivating. Assassin's Creed Mirage holds a lot of potential to reignite our excitement and passion for the series. The previous Assassin's Creed games such as Valhalla and Odyssey received a lot of mixed reviews, straying from the formula that made the other titles so beloved. Now with Mirage on the horizon, the stakes are higher than ever. We've only got a taste of what's to come through the gameplay trailer and a few story details, but it's pretty clear that the anticipation is through the roof. There's a lot of different possibilities through which Ubisoft can transform Assassin's Creed Mirage into an exceptional Assassin's Creed game, and that's what I want to go over. In this video, I will delve into some ways that I personally believe would make Assassin's Creed Mirage a great game. So yeah, if you enjoy this type of video, you know what to do by now. And with that being said, let's proceed. We all know too well that the recent Assassin's Creed games haven't given much love to one particular gameplay aspect that made the original titles downright unforgettable. I'm talking about the exciting and satisfying parkour mechanics. These moves became the signature of the series, making Assassin's Creed the game that it was. The anticipation among players for Ubisoft to rekindle the spirit of parkour in Assassin's Creed Mirage is palpable. It's a chance for the developers to recapture the essence that made the franchise a phenomenon in the first place. And with Assassin's Creed Mirage centering around Basim, a character that we encountered in the latest Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Ubisoft has such a perfect chance to delve deep into his origin story and showcase his remarkable abilities. And as we reflect on the parkour mechanic showcased in a previous game, such as Assassin's Creed Unity, it becomes pretty much clear that emphasizing this aspect should be a top priority for Ubisoft to make the game great. Take Assassin's Creed Odyssey for example. The introduction of the ability to climb almost anything was pretty intriguing. It offered a sense of freedom while exploring and reaching different locations. However, when it came to the cities and coastal environments, the parkour system experienced a noticeable downgrade. There were no specialized moves to gracefully navigate around obstacles like trees and branches, which made the game's parkour system very, very basic. One particular aspect that really bothered me was the implementation of having no fall damage. As you progressed in the game and acquired a certain perk, falling from heights no longer posed a threat. This change diminished the sense of risk and excitement that came with leaping from great heights. Personally, I found this change quite dissatisfying. Now going back and comparing it with Unity, the parkour system painted a completely different picture. Ubisoft was genuinely excited to showcase their new parkour system in Unity. During their gameplay reveal, it was the very first thing that they showed us. And I must admit, when I witnessed it, I was really excited. It was everything I had been wanting, and I couldn't wait to get my hands on it. The new animations, the fluidity of the environment, and how each element seamlessly integrated with the overall gameplay truly opened up a world of possibilities. The hype around Assassin's Creed Mirage suggests that the game is going back to its roots when it comes to gameplay. This means it could be a return of the beloved formula that made the franchise so popular. The urban environments in Mirage, although are smaller in size, are intricately designed, providing plenty of exciting parkour opportunities. These opportunities will undoubtedly have a big impact on how we perceive the game. Additionally, the game setting with its tall building and structures offers a variety of paths for parkour enthusiasts to explore. As we take the role of Basim in his younger days, the parkour abilities should seamlessly blend into the gameplay, resulting in an extraordinary level of parkour action. This focus on parkour will not only add a sense of authenticity, but also take the overall experience to new levels of excitement. Okay, so this one might cause a bit of controversy. And the reason I say this is because there's always the debate of whether a story in a game should be long or short. And if you've played the recent Assassin's Creed games, you know the main story in those games are ridiculously long. Like seriously, these games could go way over 100 hours and that's not even whilst completing every single side quest in the game. While there are some people that may enjoy the game's very long playtime and abundance of activities on each map, there comes a point where it can be a bit tiresome. Even for those who only want to focus on the main story, those quests alone can take far too long to complete. The endless array of things that are spread across an expansive landscape can feel overwhelming. The constant pressure to complete an ever-expanding checklist of activities can also be mentally draining and distract us from the desire to progress the main storyline. 
I say this because I've experienced this before when I played Far Cry 6, which is coincidentally another Ubisoft game. I have yet to finish the story of that game, despite putting over 50 hours into it. This was largely due to me simply just doing side quests, and it drained me out from the story itself, so I just simply never played it since. I do remember being so excited about that game. Seeing Giancarlo Esposito as the main antagonist made me instantly pre-order it, yet it was a disappointment. While it's valuable to consider a more concise and shortened storyline, it doesn't automatically imply that the overall duration of Assassin's Creed Mirage should be dramatically reduced. However, if the main story of Mirage goes on for over 60 hours, which it definitely won't, it can become way too long and affect the overall gaming experience for many of us. But don't worry, there's a solution that can make the game even more exciting. By keeping the main story at a reasonable length, developers can make the game have actual replayable value. You'll want to play over and over again, trying out different paths and making different choices each time. These choices can lead to significant consequences, especially in side quests, resulting in a more immersive and dynamic gaming experience. So, if Ubisoft can find the right balance between a shorter but engaging story and lots of exciting content, they can create a game that will truly capture our attention. It will make people become hooked, wanting to explore the story from different angles, and feeling like we'll have a real say in how it all unfolds. When it comes to stealth in the recent Assassin's Creed games, I can't help but express my disappointment on how they've let this mechanic slip. There were a few moments that gave me hope, but it was Assassin's Creed Unity that truly captured what stealth gameplay is all about. It was the last game that made me feel like a true assassin, carefully planning my every move, seamlessly blending into crowds and taking down enemies without a sound. The game's emphasis on social stealth was the standout feature. Unity introduced a dense and crowded Paris cityscape that provided countless opportunities for blending in with the crowd. The ability to seamlessly merge into groups of NPCs, using them as a disguise or a means of evasion, added a layer of immersion and strategy to the gameplay. However, unfortunately things have changed since then, and the focus has shifted more towards action, leaving stealth as an afterthought. I do miss the days when stealth was a crucial part of the Assassin's Creed experience, offering an exciting and immersive journey through the shadows. And it's pretty disheartening to see how Ubisoft has veered away from the essence of stealth and even assassinations in their latest entries. The core pillars of the series have always revolved around the art of stealth. You see, nowadays in recent Assassin's Creed games, Ubisoft practically gives you a lot of different gear sets, ways to deal damage and cool loot to find. It kinda makes you want to jump right into battles instead of sneaking around like an assassin should be doing. Now don't get me wrong, I still love using stealth in the recent games, but there's always something satisfying about going all out in combat. But now with Assassin's Creed Mirage supposedly going back to its roots, it's super important for the developers to bring back that stealth gameplay that we all fell in love with. They need to find the perfect balance between the combat and RPG elements, while keeping the core stealth experience intact. In recent Assassin's Creed games, the combat system has been a major letdown for fans like me. It's like they've been stuck in a rut, not bringing anything fresh or exciting to the table. Since Assassin's Creed Origins, Ubisoft hasn't made any meaningful improvements that truly impress. Take Assassin's Creed Valhalla for example. The animations felt kind of meh and didn't really live up to the hype. Sure, some of us can tolerate these issues to some extent, but let's face it, the combat system feels stuck in the past. It's frustrating, and I know there are some people that have completely given up on the series entirely. We all love the immersive and thrilling gameplay that the series is known for, right? But sometimes the combat just doesn't live up to that hype. It's like they're giving us the same thing over and over again, without making it any cooler. And when it comes to Assassin's Creed Mirage, the developers absolutely need to go all out and revamp the combat system. It's time for a complete overhaul that brings us a whole new level of excitement. I'm talking about not just the usual bunch of abilities and skill tree stuff, but a total makeover in the way the characters move when attacking. However, after that recent gameplay trailer, it does appear that the combat animations look identical to Valhalla, which for me personally, I don't really mind. But I know I'm in the minority of people with that opinion. One way I believe Assassin's Creed Mirage can make their combat system better is by simply removing the health bars. Now don't get me wrong, I understand their purpose in RPG titles like Odyssey and Valhalla. In those games, the inclusion of health bars serves to provide a clear indication of your character's well-being and add some sort of strategy element to the combat. But here's the thing about Mirage, it's not gonna be an RPG game, it's gonna be more story driven. 
and that's why I don't really want to see the health bars popping up everywhere. It's all about getting immersed in the game, right? While having those health bars floating around the world would just take away all that realistic and intense vibe that Assassin's Creed is all about. 